Yeah. Let's tell you straight up, how hard is it getting loud when the crowd isn't paying attention? Yo, if you're not paying attention to me, I will make you fucking pay attention to me. I will get in your face, I will, if you're texting somebody, I will text them with you. You know what I'm saying? I will push you in the pool, because we just <laughs> rock by the pool. Like, I don't give a fuck. If you're not paying attention to get somewhere else, I don't care if you're drunk. I don't care if you're hungover. Go vomit, come back, get some water, get some coffee. Get some greasy food, come back, act like a man, take your balls out of your purse, you know what I'm saying? Watch a show, you're here for a festival, you're gonna hate a bitch about not having time. You know what I'm saying? We're here to enjoy music, so enjoy the music and stop being a bitch. That's it. Sorry. Is the business kind of discouraging? Not really, you know? The business is the business. Like, if you were able to separate your creative moments with your, you know, your, I gotta go to this meeting moment, you're good. That's, that's what like that's what success in this industry is. It's not about having talent or like timing, it's about lasting. You know, like the people that pop up with years and years of working to leverage themselves, to be around the right people, to put them in the next better situation. You know, so it's all that just it's about keep on making the good music so that way when the next opportunity arises, you have that to feed into the next outlet, you know, and that's that's what we do. Like so I think we're pretty successful. Talk about my life experience. A lot of people don't do that. That's it. Like, it's yeah. You know, I make like I make myself vulnerable in my records. You know, I have records like Spick. I have records like uh, Sympathy for the Devil. You know, like where I talk about my life experience. Growing up with a deadbeat father, a single mother, having racial identity issues, not knowing how to speak Spanish, but being Spanish, being too Spanish for the white kids, being too white for the Spanish kids. Like I talk about all of that. You know, and like I think that's. Like when you just are honest about you and who you are and what you've been through, people fuck with it. And that's it, I don't try to be anything I'm not. I like that record, man. It's a very, very personal record, you know? And it, like, like I just said, it talks about being too white. It's too Spanish for the white kids. I was just feeling like that. Like I felt like nobody's speaking for us, you know? So I gotta speak for us. And there's so many of us out there. So you know, we uh, we're just talking to them. And that's, that's who I like to talk to. I like to talk to people who will relate to my experience. If you talk about something from the heart, everybody's gonna relate. That's it. I mean, I like girls, man. Like, of course I'm gonna try to make music to cater to women. Like, at the end of the day, like, it's about women like buying their music. Dudes will spend like six hundred dollars on two bottles of alcohol before they spend ninety nine cents on one MP3, and that's fucking real. Like dead ass, yo. That's why you know I fuck with the dudes. I appreciate y'all fucking with me because I got lyrics or whatever. But I'm trying to talk to girls because I also am not trying to go home. With you. You know what I'm not my goal it is. Okay, so you know, it is what it is. I was raised by women, like so I feel like I have a unique perspective on it. Well, Breaking Point did really well for me. I'm really happy with the way it did, you know. It's, it's a blessing to look out into a crowd of people that I've never fucking even met before. And they're excited that I'm there and like they know lyrics to my songs. That shit is humbling, you know, and I've been working a long time, so for that to happen is just a fucking blessing. You know, and I appreciate all of y'all so. What's next for me is just to keep on giving you guys what it is about me that you appreciate. And that's it. You know, it's just love. I fucking love you all. So thank you.